What's going on guys, it's your boy Elio, and today will be a quick video on Alva's, basically how Alva just changed my currency situation of having like no, barely any divs to having a lot of divs. And it's pretty simple, pretty easy. This is not going to be a, a very in-depth type of um, video, but it's just going to be something simple to understand that if you're a newcomer, it's really easy to get into and also it's very, it's probably one of the easier mechanics to get a lot of currency off of it basically have one or two divs may potentially key note before heading into this of course in like in every season basically when you try to do any type of currency you know um build up or anything like that when you're farming and such um the market is going to drop basically currently right now gym cutter level three and corruption level three or any of the top tier alva temple incursions and stuff like that are going to be roughly around 1.5 div in that sense um it's just depending what you get if you get hit both of the good ones or uh, like level threes on multiple different incursions stuff like that it really helps but as always like everything else will just fall in terms of currency so doing this early game especially when the season just came out and such i feel like it's probably the best thing to do especially um for newcomers or even if you want quick currency in that sense we're gonna go into the atlas tree um, this is what I'm currently running now when you're running um, Alvas or anything like that if you want to run it with something else currently I'm running it with delirium. Um, I enjoy delirium plus I'm using bone shatter So it's pretty quick and simple with bone shatter. So basically I will have um, a link to my um, My current atlas tree in the description and basically just going over the main key points of what you need to have um, what does what and why is it so important? So we, if you type in incursion into the search bar, all the incursion is, instances will pop up highlighted as you see here. So currently in this one, I'm running these, the perpetual search, artifacts of the, of the vow or major ones like resource re, um, reallocation and stuff in, t in time dilation. And reason for that is basically cut just pretty simple basic understanding when you ever do your incursions the map incursions will have four so basically um alva will pop up four times and you have four chances to grind um gym cutters level three or any of that sort of nature i'm not going to get into deep detail of what each one does but ideally what you're looking for is corruption chamber gym cutters workshop and volt those are the top three right now that will get you a lot of currency um to to sell a rapid pace and such like that um ideally you want to upgrade them to level three which um for corrupting will be locus of corruption for gems it will be doriani's institute and for the vault it'll be both the vow so those are basically the ones that you're looking for in terms of this um what will help how how i have mine set up again you can um you can customize however you want to do with the um atlas tree this is just or me for mine it's just oriented around delirium so but um for val i recommend just getting these um like i said the artifacts of val would just get you four incursions so you get four tries each map so i believe there's like 16 times you can do it so if you do four you could do four maps and basically that's it um, so you get four tries and four maps and total that'll be 16 and then basically that's what you will get It's either 16 or 12 um, killing non-resident arti artifacts in your maps has 40% 40 per 40 chance to add an additional upgrade to the tier and surviving our text room Basically, this will just help you upgrade each of the tiers up a higher tier So basically if you start with Jim Cutter's workshop, which is tier one you have a potential of going up to level three it's a 40% chance. So, um, so that's really huge because if you just do it once and you get to upgrade three, that's, you don't really have to worry about that. And that alone will cost probably, I think Jim Cutters is probably 150, if I'm not mistaken, 150 C, 150 chaos or even more, but as you get the, the gist of it, it costs a lot. So basically if you get any, either the um, corruption room or even the Jim Cutters room, you basically you're already at like a, a lot of um, chaos if you're not a div to have them, especially if I have them both. But um, ideally, if you want to have early on in game, chaos is probably good. But if you want to rush the divs right away, I recommend them getting both level three 
and you're pretty much ideally set to sell that map whenever you're done. Um, again, that's also goals with the vault. People love the vault as well. Um, there is not equally as wanted as the, the corruption or the gems, but if you have all of them three in one map, you're looking at a lot of um, at least two to three div currently for those maps. And again, the the market fluctuates, so probably now it's a bit lower, but it, that it happens every season when the season comes closer to the end. So basically you keep going, um, you do want to get time dilation, so the incursions in your maps have 33% chance to all, for all monsters to be at least magic. Time gain from kills is doubled for incursions in your maps. If you don't really have a fast build, and it just depends on the build, whether you need this or not. Um, if you have a build that does a lot of damage and, you know, clears instantly in that, in that sense, you really don't need this. If you feel like whenever you do these incursions that you're running out of time to clear the whole room or to unlock a path or whatever, I recommend getting this because every time you clear, especially if there's magic monsters or anything like that, but I, whenever you clear the room, um, you have like a minute or so to take your time, make sure everything's killed, make sure you killed both bosses. If 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 you can't kill both bosses um, and just unlock the path and exit out. It's really, this is really helpful, especially if you have very like a, a I want to say a slow killing build or not a build that doesn't do as much damage as other builds. Um, I feel like this is very important to have on. Now with Alva's, um, it's just depending on what you want to run it with if you don't want to run it with any other like event or anything like that um you can put points into here it just basically removes every single one of the other events that happens like um delirium or metamorph or any of the fungal remissions and stuff like that it basically removes them off the map so you're just running out of us so boom 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 each map you do you can do it now i do also recommend when you're ever doing alvas is to have favorite maps the easier maps that I've um, been understanding is the city square maps and the Crimson Temple. It's pretty much very simple. Um, a lot of them is just going straight through the map and um, finishing the map. Or even the city square. The city square, you're basically just running around in the square and just killing everything. The Alvas are usually in the outskirts. Maybe one will be in the middle. But um, it's these. I find these two, at least for me, in my opinion, these two are pretty easy to clear and quick to clear. So if you do this pretty efficiently, you can earn a lot of divs within the hour or two. Averaging, you'll probably get at least four, maybe five divs, give or take, depending how fast you can clear your build and anything of that nature. But you can earn a pretty good profit just running for these maps. Um, and you, they do typically sell pretty quick, especially if you put out a good price. Um, especially if you have like two of them in one map um, and that's you know either vault gym cutters or even um, the room corruption room um, and so it really helps to have any of the favorite maps in there and anything else um, I do recommend whenever you're doing this is that you do clear all of the maps especially you um, having all the bonus objectives and anything like that cleared because it helps um, whenever you do figure out whatever map that you like doing, especially clearing fast. Also, it will help you um, put the points here in the Atlas tree. That's the mo really more important parts. Um, I could go over the little notes right now. Killing on residents maps has a 10 chance add additional upgrade tier. Basically, this just basically you're getting like a 50 percent um, up upgrading to a highest tier. So this is like 50 50 to do so. And um, lastly, to have this node right here, the archaeology tour, and basically this helps you have the increased chance of having Alva appear in your map, whatever you're doing it. Um, this is, I think, one of the more important ones as well, is that um, if you really want to be efficient at this, you need to have Alva pop up pretty much almost all the time or even all the time in your maps. And so you can finish it and um, just continue to pop out maps and such. And that's pretty much it. Um, honestly, you could sell a lot of maps with like one and a half divs or even more or less, depending on the market currently, but that's pretty much it. It's really, uh, I'm not going to go in deep to tell why and such. 
Um, but this is just to help you guys who are newcomers and stuff like that to really push out these maps, get as much dead as you can so you can, you know, better build your build. If you're running into a currency issue or anything like that, I do really feel like Alva's is the best way, especially in the early game, to even just a more efficient way to get currency if you're running low or if you need currency and you don't know where, you don't want to run Delirium or you don't want to run Sanctum or even Legion or anything like that. I really do feel like Alva is a really good way to just basically get divs, um, even Chaoses or whatever to sell the maps on the market and just go 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 and this is strictly if you're doing if you have if you do trade if you're ssf this doesn't really help you but um but i do feel like alva is a really good way to get a lot of currency that you need and such and it isn't just limited to the maps there's a lot of other things that you can get in these like other chaos stuff like that i'm also wrestling um running this with x art um which does help with other instances as well but um the incursions are pretty easy especially if you have the resource allocation and stuff like that and even the time dilation um those really to help you out especially because sometimes if you don't it's it may even surprise you um if you gotta upgrade tier three or not but yeah that's pretty much it um like i said the four artifacts you really want the four nodes that you really want to have is artifacts of the vow resource um, reallocation, the time dilation, and even the um, the archaeology tour. Those are really the four main ones that you should have and any of the other ones because they do help out with what you get in the maps, how fast you can get them, and such and like that. And, every, and if you get all three in one, that the more the better. You get a lot more currency through through that and so on and so forth. This is something that my chat, my subscribers, and even the people in the Discord and my Discord have um have basically convinced me and they showed me that this is an easier way to get currency really early on especially if you're a newcomer this is very easy to understand this is just a plain simple guide on how to do it just get these on just um just really focus on three those three rooms if you get any other rooms that are level three the more the better um but ideally you just want to get that keynote try to stay away from any, any of the traps the poison or anything like that that really just makes the run annoying to other people because it will draw away some people from the from the map because of that usually people when they buy these they want to run it because of the the locus of corruption and the gym cutters it basically boosts their build up a lot so they really want don't want to they really just want to make it an easy time to run it so they don't want to deal with traps or anything like that so i'll recommend just staying away from them if the map has it it has it some people don't care but some people do so i'm just, it's just depending on who's buying it it's on basically on them that's pretty much it for today if you haven't already hit the subscribe button like comment and share on the video if you haven't already join the discord there's a lot of people that give a lot of good advice not even just to me but to others a lot of people do talk in my discord and such and to help they love helping newcomers and like helping um people understand the game like myself but um but yes so just follow this guide if you want to want quick currency or especially in, during alvas or even if you're having a currency issue right now alvas is a really good way to start up on it as always i catch you guys on the next one peace